what did I wrong in the video? Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is still Daniel Knott. I'm happy that you're here today. Today's video is again about Maestro and mobile development and mobile testing. If you haven't seen my previous video about Maestro, it's been a while ago since I posted it, I think seven and 10 months, something like that. So almost a year now that uh, the last time that I talked and presented you something about Maestro. And today I would like to give you an update on Maestro because I think it has evolved amazingly in terms of development speed and development capabilities. And um, the last video that I made about uh, it was about Maestro Studio and what you can do with the like the overview, not the overview, but the, with the overview of the app, of the app structure. And, and today I would like to show you more features about Maestro Studio uh, because there's also some AI capabilities now within Maestro. And I found it out like some weeks ago on, I think it was Twitter when the, the Maestro um, team was tweeting or like Xing posting about it, um, about the new AI capabilities. And if you are a frequent watcher of my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of AI, AI and testing and uh, that help us software testers to use AI functionality to make our lives easier, right? And that's why this video today, if you're in mobile testing and you don't like to work with the tools that are already out there and you would like to work with something easy like uh, Maestro, take a look at the video right now. Sorry for the interruption of the main video. I would like to thank you, the main sponsor of today's video, and it's Shiftsim, the community about quality engineering. If you're a developer and tester, DevOps or product specialist, don't hesitate to jump over to Shifts in Community to exchange with like-minded people. You can exchange with people on all tech and quality related topics, from software development to software design, software testing, security performance testing and whatnot. And also the latest trends in tech uh, world are covered in the Shifts in Community. You can browse through excellent topics, blogs and videos. The Vibrant community is hosting regular webinars on the latest tech trends like AI. At the same time, you can participate in challenges and win cool prizes. But what is more important than winning prizes? Well, it's to create new professional connections and who knows, maybe new ways for your career. Another great benefit for being part of the community is to ask questions. In case you have a specific question, raise it at the shifts in community and community member will help you with your challenge or will guide you to the next step in order to solve this. Give it a try. Thanks to Tricentis in creating such a cool tech community. It will help all of us to grow. So see you in the community and make sure to sign up using the link in the video description and start your community collaboration today. See you later and now back to the main video. So. Here we are in Maestro Studio. As you can see, Maestro Studio, I started it in my console. Yeah. So when, once you enter the, the Maestro uh, Studio command, uh, a local host browser tab is going to, to open up and you have your mobile device up and running. Also, as you can see here, I have an emulator up and running, um, um, which is, yeah, coming with Android Studio. I just do you, uh, installed the default version of it. And as you can see, the, the moment you're interacting with the, with the device, like the Android emulator in that case, or in case you have an, a device plugged in, being it an Android or an iOS device, you can immediately see the changes in Maestro Studio. And that's really cool. And you can see some more, right? So you, you get, get some, some grid layout, basically, or you see, see the grids of the things. Um, but we come to that in a second. So let's 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 get rid of this. Let's go back to that screen. So it's refreshing. Before we dive into specific things that you can do with uh, with Maestro and the AI capabilities, let's browse around. So what has changed in Maestro Studio? Um, I think from the previous version there is something like this on top that is new. It's called Search Elements with Texture ID. And the moment you click on that one, this new uh, view comes up. And you can basically see all the views, all the ideas that Maestro has detected on the emulator can now be like browsed through in that uh, list view. As you can see, the moment you hover over the entry, 
you get the highlight on the physical device or in that case on the emulator. That's pretty cool, right? So you can see here, there's the Gmail app. We tap on it and then another window opens up and that's pretty cool. And as you can see here, we have some, some navigation um, options. So you can, you can copy something, you can open right away the, uh, the documentation. So let's do like this. So tap on, you get right away the, the tap on documentation of the, of the command. You can go and edit, you can run the command and so forth. And as you can see here, the, this window shows you the things that you can do. You see the command tap on Gmail. You can directly play it, like to just execute it. Let's do it. So we tap it. And as you can see here, it, it gets directly added to our, um, yeah, let's say creation mode, right? So you see it has passed and we are in the next step of, of the things. And then we can say, okay, let's go here. We have a text. We can again text uh, tap on this text. Uh, we can tap on the new in Gmail. So we can also go with the, the text identifier in case we are working with different languages. Or you can tap on the, uh, the coordinates, on the point coordinates. So you have the tap elements over here. So everything that you can do in terms of tapping interaction. We also have an assert uh, capability here. So as you can see here, we can assert if that text is visible. And we have some conditional things here um, where you can add some conditional uh, parameters. If you know, would like to know more about the conditional view uh, of view conditional documentation, again, click on it. it. Everything is right on your fingertip and that's amazing. So let's take a look. Let's do like the assertion. So we add the assertion here. As you can see here, it has been executed. So now Maestro has been uh, asserting or has asserted that the new in Gmail is visible. So far so good, right? So you can automate like really fast everything that you would like to do with it. And, and now the new part of Maestro Studio is basically the AI capabilities. And as you can see here, the first time, to be honest, I tried it out, it was like, hmm, where's AI? But then I was seeing like this, hey, press the space bar for AI or type a command. So either you can type a command, you can say, I'll say, okay, uh, tap on, and then we say, uh, got it. Yeah, let's see if that's that's going to work. We can execute and see here, it worked. Yeah, so you can type, you can tap, like you type the commands that you would like to enter, or in case it's like, I don't know, complicated, or there is no um, ID basically that you can directly see that's click, maybe it's a little tiny icon, a filter icon or whatnot, you can use AI and do the thing for you. So, and the first time you have, you're going to do, to use the AI, you press the space bar, it will give you a Maestro login command. So the first time you have to, to do it, you have to verify your account uh, against the Maestro system. So that this takes like around two minutes. I've done it now for this video, for the preparation of the video, and then you can use AI. So in that case, we can now AI, ask AI to generate a command. And then we can say, um, let's say, I don't know, tap, on uh, add an oops email we enter it you can see here ai is doing some magic and we have to tap on add an email address it has found this basically and then we can also execute it see if it's going to work and yes it's working and then we can say another like space we can say not tap we do like something else so like click on yahoo and then we press enter and see the execution is going to to it's happen immediately and then again the ai detects okay instead of clicking we cannot click on a mobile device it says okay let's tap on yahoo so let's do so we are here right on on the next screen and then we can say something like enter an user id or user id into the email Oops, field. Let's see what's going to happen now. We execute. Oh, there isn't there is something. Cannot construct instance of Maestro YAML fluid comment. Invalid comment. Enter and user ID. Okay, this is nothing that the the AI can can work with. So now let's say um, enter a username. Let's see if this one is working or if I am the problem here and that enter is not going to work out. Looks like. Uh, insert a user, let's do like this, insert a username. No, also 
what I'm doing wrong here. Maestro problem found invalid in that username. Okay, not sure what's going to happen now. Uh, we can do like this. We can go here and then it says tab. We can open the Maestro documentation. Let's do so. And then we can say, ah, maybe it's the keyword type. I was not sure if that's type or enter. No. Let's see over here, supported platforms, where do we have the add media commands, press key, scroll, tap on swipe, paste, input text. That's the one. Yeah, so in that case, it says input text. Then let's do it like input uh, text into username. Let's see if that's going to work out. No, I'm doing something wrong here. Not sure what. I need to check it out later on. But uh, what I wanted to show you is that basically you can use the AI capabilities to really fast click on things, right? And let's let's do something else. Let's, oh no, that's wrong. I have to do it on the emulator. Let's uh, close this one and I don't know, let's do open the, the phone. And then we, we have this little tiny uh, dialer action here. Like then we can say, um, open up the, I don't know, dialer. Is that going to work? Let's see if the IS is detecting it. Tap on keypad, let's execute that one. And as you can see, ta-da, we have opened up the, um, the, the, the keypad. And that, that's the one that I would like to show you because I think that's amazing because you have seen like the, the little tiny icon that has the, like the nine dots uh, on top of it. And of course, if you can use the identifiers and then you can, you can basically select that you would, what the things that you like to tap on, like you get the idea or you get the, the name that is re representing the button. But in case you don't have that and you have an AI at your fingertips, it's really easy to ask the AI. The AI is basically passing that information and then it can use it in order to, yeah, do things with it, right? So that's the cool part. And then let's assume we have the, the script like, uh, like coded or like the flow defined. We can say, okay, select all. We can either say uh, play it at, at once. So this is not going to work because I uh, manually um, switched off the, the mail app and then open up the dialer or like the, the phone app. But you can now like have the chance to, to click the play button to re-execute it. I mean, we can do it. We can just get rid of that, this one and we can just say play. Let's see what's going to happen. So then Maestro is basically executing every command that we have created on that device. Yeah, we can also export it. And in case we're clicking export, we get everything here in, in, in an overview. And the, the, the basically the script that we that we created, we can copy paste it and store it into a YAML file that we can use later on for our execution of Maestro. And as you can see here, it's not showing it up in on the screen, not sure why, but you can see like the little tiny uh, green arrow. It says, yes, it's executing, it passes and everything is, uh, works well. Yeah, so that, that's pretty cool from my point of view, I would say. And especially I like the, this, this whole uh, tree view here, basically that you get all the information on the, on the current view. Uh, you get the, all the identifiers you have right at your fingertips. You have the documentation. I think that's perfect, right? So you can also search for commands. Let's see if what I, what I made wrong here. It's tap on, maybe it's that insert, assert text. I need to check the Maestro documentation again. So that in order to not only to tap on things, but also to insert text and yeah. So that's uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty much it for for today's video and yeah let me know what you think about Maestro Maestro AI capabilities let me know uh, if you're using already in your production environment because I know that many companies now um, thinking of migrating from existing uh, mobile test automation to Maestro because it's so easy to define uh, a script as you can uh, as you just see have, have seen I mean you, you don't need to use the AI capabilities if you don't want to but it's also really easy to just uh, you know enter or like uh, click the user journey that that the user is going to do in your app through the Maestro Studio 
you have your script, you copy paste it, you can add it to your CI CD pipeline, you can use Maestro Cloud uh, to, to follow up on it and it's it's a matter of minutes to, to have like an end-to-end -end, uh, user journey automated, right? And the installation of Maestro took me like, I don't know, five minutes in total. I don't know, I, I didn't count the numbers and then the time, um, but it, it was really fast, yeah? So if you haven't tried out Maestro yourself, Take a look at the video description below to find all the links to my Maestro, the documentation as well. Yeah, and as I mentioned, let me know in the video comments what do you think about the tool and also what did I wrong in the video that I was not able to enter text. It was my mistake, for sure. Bear with me. With that, I would say thank you. Leave a subscription, leave a thumbs up as always to support me and I'm happy that you're here. See you next time. Bye-bye.